On the other hand, some people have been saying that since the departure of Dominic Cummings, there hasn't been enough willingness to say no to the Prime Minister, to stand up to the Prime Minister, and that's forced some errors. For example, uh, the whole affair over standards. Perhaps if there'd been uh, more assertiveness within Number 10 and discussions within Number 10, these errors wouldn't have happened. Well, in any organisation, you need people who will speak truth to power. You know, Roman emperors reportedly, you know, had a slave in the back of the chariot saying, you know, remember you were mortal. Uh, um, so, so I think that the system works best when people give the prime minister their frank and honest advice, even if sometimes that's not what he wants to hear. I, I, I think that kind of frank dialogue in private between a prime minister and his key aides is healthy for, for our democratic system. So, you know, if you, you ask a senior politician, do you want people who will speak truth to power? They'll say yes, until you get a day when three things have gone wrong by lunchtime, and then the fourth person turns up and speaks truth to power. And, you know, human beings being as they are, sometimes it's the wrong day, isn't it? But I do think what we need is we need greater communication between the prime minister and the parliamentary party, and I also think we need greater internal communication within Number 10 itself. I don't think that's an unreasonable ask, to be honest.